check the external fuses and voltage setting are correct for your local power supply. Then connect the mains lead or power cord to the socket on the rear of the stimulator. If you have our D185FS1 foot switch, please connect the plug to the foot switch socket also located on the rear of the stimulator. Turn the stimulator around and connect the D185HB4 electrode connection cable to the stimulator output sockets, ensuring that the plug is firmly pushed in. Next, connect both of the 1.5mm plugs fitted to the disposable probe into the sockets at the other end of the D185HB4 electrode connection cable. Once again, ensure they are fully inserted. Note that either plug may be connected to either socket as the connection orientation does not matter. Before proceeding, make sure that the orange output enable toggle switch is pushed downwards to disable the stimulator output. Set the current amplitude dial to zero. And pulse duration switch to low. Power the stimulator on using the push rod power switch on the left of the front panel and set the current amplitude dial to 10 milliamps. Next, enable the stimulator output by pushing the orange toggle switch upwards. With a foot switch connected, stimulation will occur only when the orange toggle switch is in the up position and the foot switch is pressed. Delivery of stimulation will occur at a frequency of 50 Hz and is verified by the trigger LED lighting up. Stimulation ceases when the foot switch is released. If a foot switch is not connected to the stimulator, stimulation will start as soon as the output enable toggle switch is pushed up and will cease when it is pushed down. Once again, stimulus delivery can be verified by observing the status of the trigger LED. In order for the DS7AP to deliver effective stimulation to the patient, it is necessary for current to pass between the two probe tips and activate any underlying musculature. In a surgery, a low resistance electrical pathway is desirable and this is achieved through copious swabbing of the skin with saline prior to commencing stimulation. For testing purposes, stimulation can be simulated with a saline soaked paper towel. With the current set to a low level and the probe tips held in the air or placed onto a dry paper towel, the voltage available within the stimulator is not adequate to pass the set current between the probe tips due to a high electrical resistance. The out of compliance warning LED illuminating signifies this. When the probe tips are placed on a lower resistance saline moistened towel, this warning LED is extinguished, indicating that current is now passing successfully. To prevent out of compliance events and a subsequent failure to stimulate, it is imperative that the surface being stimulated is swabbed and moistened with saline prior to stimulation, as this will help maintain a low resistance pathway between the probe tips. If stronger stimulation is required, this can be achieved either by increasing the pulse duration to 500 microseconds or by increasing the current amplitude. However, it is important to monitor the out-of-compliance LED during increases of current, as they will have no effect while the stimulator is out of compliance.